the purpose of lab two or six point four is to use a geo board or a dot paper to represent figures whose sides and perimeters have lengths that are irrational numbers. And so you can print dot paper off line for free or you can use the virtual manipulatives that come with the program. I'm going to use graph paper because that's what I have available to me. And what we can do is to take a square and find the length of the side. So if this length is 2, 2, 2, and 2, we know that the perimeter of a square is 4 times the length of the side. So the perimeter would be 8 units. Or we could find the area of the square by taking uh, the side squared and so the area would be 4 units squared. But not every shape is drawn where the lines are matched to the numbers. So let's say, or matched, let's say that we're looking at a diagonal line like so and we want to know the length of that line well one way of doing that is by creating a right triangle with legs creating the right angle and the diagonal line being the hypotenuse. And when you do that, you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the diagonal because we can calculate that the base would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and the height would be 1, 2, 3, and therefore we can set up the Pythagorean theorem as a square plus b square equals c square or 4 square plus 3 square equals c square or 16 plus 9 is c square 25 is c square take the positive square root and we get 5 to be five units to be the length of that diagonal. Well, if you have a square that is set up where all of its sides, I'll say that this is the beginning. Uh, All right, so now I have my beginning of my square, and let's say that I want to know that um, the length of each side, oh dear, no, then I again create a right triangle. and I can calculate the length of this diagonal. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and now I can do the hypotenuse. So that's 6 squared plus 7 squared is C squared, or 36 plus 49 is C squared, 85 is c squared, 
and we have that square root of 85 to be the length of this side. So let's say that I drew this to be a square. That means that the square root of 85 will be the length of all of these sides. Therefore, the perimeter would be 4 times the square root of 85 and the area would be the square root of 85 squared or the area would be 85 units squared. So that's how you're going to go about finding the perimeter and area of squares or triangles that are not necessarily drawn on the straight of the piece of dot paper that you have. Um, sometimes the shape is not always a square. We might have a shape that looks like this. Which would be a parallelogram. And so the process is going to be the same in finding the perimeter because it's easy to count 1, 2, 3, 4 here and 1, 2, 3, 4 here. So I know those units. But then to get the measure for this diagonal, we simply create a right triangle. And we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 for the height. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 for the base. So we set up the Pythagorean theorem as 9 squared plus 11 squared would be equal to the hypotenuse squared, or 81 plus 121 is c squared. 202 is c squared, so the square root of 202 would be the length of this side. And so the perimeter would be 4 plus 4, or 8, plus 2 times the square root of 202 units. Now the area is base times height, which that's going to be easy for us to calculate because we simply have to count the height. The height is the vertical or the perpendicular path which the height is 11 and the base is 4. So the area would be 44 units squared. Now for me to give you a problem to do, I think it's going to be easier for me to set up a coordinate system and give you some boundaries for the length um, of the diagonal. So let's say that you are at 2, 1 and I'm going to draw a diagonal that ends at, let's see, where does it end? Thirteen. Twelve. So you're at 2, 1, and 13, 12. That's the length of the diagonal that you have. And I want you to find that length. 
Ugh. What in the world? How did that go there? Okay. Hang on a minute, I'll find it. Maybe. Oh well. You had two one and thirteen twelve and you are to find the length of that diagonal. So attach that in Blackboard, show your work, show how you would draw it out on dot paper or graph paper.